So we just checked into Marriott's Cypress Harbor in Orlando, Florida, and uh, we're gonna go in and take a look at our villa. Coming right up. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy, and before we head into our villa here and take a look at our villa at Marriott's Cypress Harbor, I just wanna let you know, on this channel, I like to share some of my best strategies tips and advice on how to help you get the most out of your timeshare ownership. So if that sounds like what you're looking for, be sure to subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. All right, so we're at the beautiful Marriott Cypress Harbor here in Orlando. So uh, let's check in. We're in building number 63 on the third floor. And uh, yeah, we're going to head inside. Okay, so as soon as we head in immediately to our left here is the uh, laundry room and this is the one good thing about Marriott Cypress Harbor is they have full-size washer and dryer so that is quite excellent you also find your um, iron and ironing board your vacuum cleaner down here yeah so that is a cool feature of Cypress Harbor is is that full-size washer and dryer so let's continue on in here and immediately to the left is the full-size kitchen. Have your cupboards that got all of your items in it. You have a blender down there, some containers, pitcher, all that. Good size refrigerator, freezer with an ice maker. Yeah, all your glassware. Kind of everything you come to expect from a Marriott uh, kitchen and Marriott Vacation Club, pots and pans, full-size oven, cooktop, and a kettle there, microwave. You got your normal knife block. Now, something I did notice was interesting is you have a four-slice toaster. I think that's the first time I've ever seen a four-slice toaster at a Marriott timeshare. Coffee maker and uh, you get your dishwasher, so that is great. It's actually a pretty good size, not too big of a kitchen, but not too bad. Move in here into the dining room. Dining room table that's got it's only got four chairs, and then you have a there's a spare over there. But then it's got a, a bar area here with the three stools. Nice little desk in here. Yeah, there's a look back to the kitchen, and the, and the entryway is just over here where we come in. So yeah, pretty good kitchen. All right, now into the living room. We have actually a love seat, a couch. That uh, sofa over there will pull out into a queen-size sleeper sofa. Got another chair over there. So it's actually a pretty good-sized kitchen and living room and dining room area. Nice big, let me step back here, big, uh, extremely large LG television. There's also a Blu-ray player down there, so that is cool. And I found this kind of interesting. I kind of have this little switch, HDMI switch on here. Not sure what that's for. I guess if you want to plug in like a Fire Stick, we'll give that a try later on, actually. Plug in our Amazon Fire Stick. So, yeah, let's move into the master bedroom. Here it is. You have a chair over here in the corner. It's got a nice view out here to the lake. We'll actually get a better look at that when we head out to the patio in just a moment. But a yeah, good view out to the lake. Kind of your large king size bed. Another television. Chest of drawers over here. Towels for the uh, pool. No Blu ray player here, just the television. And then in here into the bathroom, this is where they have the humongous jetted spa tub there's a timer control on the wall over there I'll show you that in a minute but yeah large jetted tub these lamps I noticed some of the other resorts we've been to they have USB outlets on them these ones do not they just have an electrical outlet down there so still kind of handy not as handy as a USB outlet to charge things okay so we'll head into the bathroom area this is a closet it just has the safe got some hangers they are not putting the uh, linens for the 
sofa bed in the uh, villas here to keep them sanitized. So if you need linens for the sofa bed or the sofa bed that's in the uh, second bedroom, you have, to, you have to call them and ask for it to be uh, sent to your villa. Then in here, this is a kind of a separate little area for the uh, toilet. You can close it off with the door. And uh, yeah, the toilet and showers in here. Not a very big shower, uh, you know, it's actually kind of small. But uh, yeah, it's pretty small. Most of the bathroom is being taken up by <laughs> the ginormous jetted tub. Then over here you have uh, double sinks. It's kind of a little bit of a small area for double sinks here, but you know, it'll work. Got your kind of your toiletry items there. And they have a makeup mirror. Hey there, you can see me. And uh, this is the uh, timer for the spa. And then under here you kind of have some extra toilet paper. And uh, there's actually a mat for the shower and a hair dryer under there. So that's pretty good. Yeah, so pretty good size bedroom area. I'm just amazed at how big this tub is. Okay, so let's head over to the second bedroom. Okay, so we're going to head into the second bedroom. As soon as you kind of enter here, there's kind of like a little area here where it separates off from the bedroom and the bathroom. But immediately to the left here is the bathroom. And you get your sink, your toiletries. This has actually got a uh, bathtub with a shower on it, so that's good. And just like the other one, extra toilet paper, hair dryer, and some some extra towels there yeah so there's the uh, toilet there and then into the uh, actual bedroom it just has a queen size bed that is kind of the one drawback of Marriott Cypress Harbor is this bedroom is a little small it does have a ceiling fan so that's good got two nightstands but just a queen size bed and then uh, you got your chest of drawers your television hanging up there kind of on the wall Halfway blocking this mirror as well. And then they uh, pull out um, sofa bed, but it's really actually a love seat, I guess. But that pulls out. And again, if you need linens, at least right now, you need to call down to get those. And then uh, also a small closet over here. Nothing special, just some hangers. You know, you can throw your luggage down there or whatever. And then uh, one other drawback of here is that the uh, window of this second bedroom looks out to the entryway. And so there's the elevators right there. So this might be a, a little bit noisy at times, but it's all right. Okay, so next stop is the patio. Okay, so let's head out to the patio. Okay. Here is the patio. It does have a ceiling fan. Controls here on the wall. A table and four chairs. And uh, we actually have a pretty nice lake view. A bit of the dock down here where they have the little boats and whatnot. Yeah, and then the fountain out there and the other buildings here of Cypress Harbor. Now one drawback of these balconies is that there's not a lot of privacy for these other balconies, you'll see they all kind of stick out. And you can basically see all your neighbors. And since we're in the middle of the building, we have neighbors on both sides. So yeah, that's just kind of one little drawback. If you want a little more privacy, you could ask for an end unit. They kind of sit back in a little bit, but still not, not all that great. But yeah, it's a nice, pretty lake view out here. Okay, so if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see another video about Marriott's Cypress Harbor, check this one out up here, YouTube. They also think you'll like this one down here. For more of what to watch, also be sure to check that description box below. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and until next time, remember, the best destination is always a timeshare.